some water, please. Thank you so much. Oh. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon and welcome to our final uh, media call ahead of the Birmingham Diamond League tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, of course, uh, Sunday the 5th of June, exactly two months uh, until the opening ceremony of Rio 2016, the Olympic Games. Um, Daphne Shipper is joining us today. Uh, obviously, we've had numerous other uh, star athletes uh, throughout the day, so thank you for your attendance. Um, Daphne, if I can turn to you... Um, Two months to go to the Olympic Games, two months to the day tomorrow. How are you feeling in the context of uh, your Olympic hopes and dreams? Yeah, my body feels very good. I'm very happy to have two months to, to train a little bit, to do some competitions, and then Rio. Uh, and this competition, next week one competition, I've done three weeks off with training, and then a little bit more competitions. Yeah. And talk us through your season to date, how pleased you've been with the progress you've been making. I'm very happy with the progress. Um, I'm very happy to see the times that I run now. Uh, last year I ran only at the Beijing World Championships and I'm very happy with the 100 in my first competition and this is my second one. It's been an incredible um, couple of years for you. you. You really have taken the world by storm. Does it, does it feel different this year being so close to the Olympic Games and I guess greater expectation? Yeah, it's different. It's, uh, it's a new world and um, yeah, it's an Olympic year and uh, the first time in 2012 was very special to be at the Olympics with um, that. London was very special. It was a very different year and yeah, I have new goals, I think. And how does it feel for you? I mean, do you feel more pressure? Does that not phase you? There's more pressure, but yeah, I don't have problems with that. And looking to tomorrow, um, Birmingham, we're in for a, um, a beautiful day, uh, I believe, tomorrow in Birmingham. A uh, beautiful sunny summer's day. Uh, hopefully a, a day that will uh, bring out some great performances. Um, do you have a particular target in mind? Do you think in terms of times or just winning races? I hope to run every race a little bit faster. And my first competition was 10.83, so I hope to run a little bit faster, yeah. Every competition you will run faster and I, I think I'm in good shape, I feel very good and I'm very happy with the good weather and uh, yeah, let's go to the morrow. Can I ask you a question um, about Dina Astra-Smith who from a British point of view is obviously an extremely exciting young talent for us. She's been studying at university, she's opening her season uh, later than she might otherwise have done. Um, how do you view Dina as a, as a, as a rival? Yes, she's very good, she's very talented and she's a nice girl and yeah, I think she can go to the Olympics and uh, yeah, make steps and maybe a personal best this year and yeah, step by step then for... Ladies and gentlemen, uh, can I turn to you? Any questions from the floor? Yes sir. Um, definitely, you mentioned that you don't have a problem with pressure. How do you deal with it? What do you do to kind of cope? Try to stay relaxed and uh, yeah, do my own thing and try to compete with other girls and yeah, do what I can do. So it never gets to you. There is never a point where you think, oh, I might not perform in the way that. No, not really. <laughs> no, I'm a relaxed person and I think that's good for a sprint. I'm relaxed in my head and that's good. Can I? Can I yeah. Can I, in regards to the last couple of years, I know um, Steve touched on it, but what would you? If you could pinpoint anything that's helped you kind of progress in the way that you have, what, what would it be? You mean in training or...? Yeah, just in terms of your performance, what's contributed over the last couple of years to bring you to this point? Yeah, I was an athlete and now for a year I sprinted official, official and that's a new world and I think I make the progress because I trained as an athlete and now I train as a sprinter and train more on the start and I think that progress is very good and you see that in the times, in the times of the 100 and 200 and yeah, I think that's the progress why I make the big steps, yeah. Have you surprised yourself with how fast you've run? Sometimes, yeah. 
It's just that you mentioned you want to go quicker and quicker. I mean, how, how quick do you think that you could go? We will see. I hope to win every competition a little bit faster and I hope to have my biggest and best race in Rio. Which is your favorite event, the 100 or the 200? You did the two as a part of an help. Is that, are you more familiar with that? That's a good question. Um, I think that maybe I like the 100 more, but the 200 is my, be my best event, I think. It's both look nice. Why do you like the 100? Um, because it's so short. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any more questions from the floor? No? Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Daphne, thank you. Uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, the Birmingham Diamond League, we're expecting uh, over 10,000 people. Good weather. Uh, and look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Excellent.